Well, folks, there are now 14 really good games that are now under $10. Yay! Please like this video, share this video with your friends so they can take advantage of the situation. And today, we're gonna see if these games are busting or like always, we're gonna catch erectile dysfunction. Hopefully not! Shout out to the homie Game Cross and Roll. That's how you should jump on those as soon as possible. Now, before Hopefully we get some into good this games. video, I just wanna ask you guys, please like this video. Yeah, like and share, guys. Like and share. So... With that being said, let's get right into it, and let's get started once again with a couple of Yakuza titles. Now, this one, uh, this time around, we're going to mention Yakuza? a couple of Yakuza collections. The Yakuza Origins Digital Bundle is a killer Damn, way. Damn, $10? Oh, shit. Oh, yo, $10? That's a deal, bruh. We got homie, uh, yo, put your clothes on. Yo, is this the game that, that apparently, yeah, Kiri... <laughs> Yeah, man, Sigus did say that. Young, yeah, ruined Kiryu, though. Yakuza 0 was initially a PlayStation 3 game, and Yakuza 1 and oh, 2 man. remakes and PS2 games. So from a technical standpoint, just keep your expectations in line, but uh, all the games are fantastic. Really good storytelling, really great characters. And obviously with the Origins Digital... Yo, I'm not sure about the characters right now, but was this that Yakuza game that Sigus talked about? The next one that we got is the Yakuza Remastered Collection, also $10. That That's crazy, though. So a lot of games... I, I mean, I wonder if games like, what's this called, Skull and Bones are gonna be $10 or not. Really trying to play through all of the titles. Yakuza 3, 4, and 5 do show their age because these are, uh, you know, earlier PlayStation 3 games. Yakuza 3, I can't remember when it came out, but I want to say it was like 2009 or 2010. It was a while ago, so... Just what keep that in mind, Yakuza 4 and 5 uh, have some quirks to them as well, so... Uh, Bussin, Bussin, good deal, or you caught the erectile dysfunction. Way what what else we got, let's see? To add those three games to your collection as well, and then after these three, Yakuza 6, you got Like a Dragon, you got all that good stuff, so there's a lot of titles to go through. And at the very oh, least, oh, definitely oh. check out the Yakuza Origins Digital Bundle, that's really uh, the star here. Next up, we got Control Ultimate Edition, 75% oh, off for $9.99. People think it's wild that I say this, but I still think Control is Remedy's best game that they've- Yo, I heard a lot about Control, actually. I never really got to play, but every time I hear about this game, Suckers like always say it's a good game, so... Uh, and it was at $40, so right now it's, uh, the deal is gonna be ending soon as well, I, I believe, right? And it's gonna be $10, $10 right now. Maybe I'll cop it, uh, do you recommend it? Year or nay, year or nay. That trippy Remedy fair that, uh, you know, can get a little bit confusing, but by the end of it, uh, you kinda figure it out, and, uh, uh -huh. I thought it was uh -huh. a worthwhile game. The Ultimate Edition also runs and looks really good, has the DLC, all that good stuff. Or, or I, I, is this a control, like a full blown like addition, or you just the standard? I mean, either way though, ten dollars is a stupid ass deal though. Like that's the that's like a, the really really good deal. Uh, next one we got Metro Exodus. This is like what six dollars? The Metro Saga what? bundle, unfortunately, not on sale right now. But if you've already played the Metro Redux collection, well, then sale. you what? should check out Exodus Gold Edition. It is my least favorite of the three Metro games, but. Uh, that doesn't really say much. That's like, you know, the Bioshock games or some of those other trilogies that every... All, all three of the games are really good. Batman Arkham. All three games are really good and saying one is weaker than the others. Yeah, whatever. Maybe you disagree on it, but it's not an yeah. indictment on the game. Exodus is... Yeah, it's like saying that he got a big D, but you got a small D. I get Excellent it. Excellent gameplay. And for five right now, I think it's a damn good pickup. So definitely... Rebuild for Xbox I'll give and that a PS5. Look. Next up. We have Just Cause 4 Gold Edition. This is $8.99. Now, this is definitely a weaker game than Just Cause 3. <laughs> Didn't enjoy it as much, but this was also a game that... Like, when it initially came out, then they continued to update the game. They revamped it, and they actually put out Just Cause 4 Reloaded because they wanted okay, to, get, that's to okay. uh, get the game out of state that people could be happy with. It's still an enjoyable open-world title. And again, if you like that no-nonsense Just Cause gameplay, you'll still end up liking the game. I don't know if this game has a, full, a PS5 upgrade. I don't believe it does, like, even a performance upgrade, which is... But listen, man, $6, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's still kind of expensive, though, right? Because yeah. I can always go to China and get it for two pennies, though. <laughs> would be nice I'm joking, it? Man. it would be joking, nice man. but 899 for that not a bad deal not so after that deal. these next not deals are deal. from the mega march sale so these deals are wrapping up at the end of march 13th so if you have any interest in any of these try to pick them up as soon as possible first yeah. of all phoenix right ace attorney trilogy 67 percent off for 989 got a couple of visual novel uh style titles on this list and phoenix right ace attorney trilogy is definitely like one of the more notable Bruh. ips probably the most notable visual novel ip is that too much of a stretch like phoenix right i feel like has quite a lot of popularity and uh this of course includes the three original games <laughs> really really well done games from a narrative standpoint a lot of twists and turns. now keep in mind while these games are remastered and upgraded like the original okay maybe maybe like somebody actually watching like really like this so hey man come here 
Let me send you some kisses. Uh, I'm just joking. Just jokes. Just jokes. Just jokes. Just jokes. Okay. How many of you guys are actually into this uh, one? But next. Levels four. Uh, the narrative and Phoenix Wright is quite strong in the narrative, the character department, and you're getting three titles here. Nine eighty nine. Not a bad price there. Next up, we got bad, Okami HD, 50% off for $9.99. This is one of those games that you guys pick up just to fuel my desire to one day get an Okami. Too much like, you know, if you don't have Gravity Rush 2, you go buy Gravity Rush 2s just so we can help fuel uh, the chances of a Gravity Rush 3. Okami is a tremendous, tremendous game. And back when it came out on the PlayStation 2, it was absolutely revered. Saw a lot of comparisons to The Legend of Zelda, and I can see... It's a PS2 game, right? It should be free right now. It should be, <laughs> it should be free right now. What y'all doing? What y'all doing, man? Gamers deserve that. I mean, like, let's be real. Even if it was free, would you actually play? Yeah, uh, maybe it's like one of those games that's like so goaded, right? So no disrespect, but like what I'm, I mean, objectively, right? As a whole, right? It's a PS2 game. It should be free. It shouldn't be free. Or maybe, let me let me put it this way, okay? It sounds kind of bad. Oh, man, you want everything for free. No, 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 no. Okay, let me put it this way. If you own a PlayStation Plus service, like the standard one, uh, first of all, online should be free. Come on now, man. Like the video if you actually agree. But if not, and you have the normal PlayStation Plus, you should own this for absolutely free. Like the video if you agree. And this one is like $6. Tales of game. But again, Tales of is a super, super consistent franchise that even with Zestria being the weakest in the franchise, it's still a fairly decent JRPG. It's okay. not the Tales of game you play to get into the franchise. No, you go with an Arise, you go with a Vest. Zestria, you go with, you know, one of those games if you want to get into the series. Zestria, after- Uh, next. Uh, or, nah, maybe not. Maybe, uh, okay, this one is better than- No, but still, next, next, next. Bruh. But this one is actually looking kind of odd. I mean, gameplay-wise, it looks kind of, like, better than- <laughs> <laughs> better than the the last few ones as well man it's so bad like call of duty has ruined my passion for gaming i feel like for but but i still the best quality about me is that i know i'm gonna be sucking my own d right now but i truly do like single player games you know that's call yeah exactly that's exactly i do love single player games uh but but i prefer like triple a single player games rather uh sakura wars this is like oh damn anime sakura wars could you imagine somebody who has never played jrpgs just yeah they're like like, yeah, yeah, let me go with Sakura Wars is my first uh, JRPG that I ever played. They would be so vehemently disgusted by the genre that they would never give the genre another chance. Sakura Wars is a game that is definitely uh, for those of you that have played quite a lot of JRPGs. It's certainly got its quirks, its tropes, and... Uh, yeah, it can get a little bit corny. You kind of have to find the uh, humor the and the charm okay. and okay. the corniness. I think if you can find... The yeah, there are some singers that would actually love this one. Okay, uh, fair, fair, fair. I see it, I see it. It's just that... Uh, yeah. A foundational element of the game is like the relationships and the romance and that aspect of it. So just the, the list started off actually good. And right now we're like <laughs> feeling this way. I don't know, man. Is it you, you guys also feel the same way as me? Like, am I relatable right now? Or you're like, no, Skizzle, this game is the best thing ever known to mankind. I mean, listen, like, we're, we're not dogging, we're just having lighthearted sarcasm. Sar lighthearted sarcasm, actually. Okay, so this one is called Frostpunk Console. $5.99, damn! And uh, you guys know me. City uh, city building survival title is not really my cup of tea, but Frostpunk, I thought, from a thematic and a morality standpoint, was really, really well done, where you do have to make okay. uh, some very difficult decisions, and that's what 11-bit, the, the, they're... You're any construction workers watching this video Bruh. they might actually love this. <laughs> i'm joking man i'm joking but but now nah, uh, some singers actually love games like that i i used to watch like i right now he doesn't upload that much but i'm talking about optimus right love the guy he when he posts like commentary videos right now he doesn't really post but when i remember like uh seeing this gameplay kind of reminded me of when i was watching one of his video and he had like building gameplay right in the background where he was like building like a city so yeah some singers actually love that they wouldn't build anything like in their life they would love to build in the games Bruh. right so construction worker 101 right there uh red faction gorilla uh this one is called 590 oh damn okay so this one okay seems kind of high it's play on words or whatever the hell but uh yeah i hate the day but i do not seems hate red faction high. gorilla i think red faction gorilla is an awesome game it is an earlier open world game it came out back in june of 2009 
and uh, I ended up really enjoying it. Look, you give a teenager a open world sandbox where you are equipped with a sledgehammer and you can destroy anything you want. Hell, screw me being a teenager. That sounds like a good old time to me right now in my late 20s. Like, think about this. Getting dropped into an open world, insane destructibility, and you got a sledgehammer at all times that you could bash holes in. Next. Damn good time to be, and that's what you're gonna get out of Red Faction Gorilla. But not bad, world. not 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 bad, not bad. This is such a classic that I always pull. Yeah, not bad. No, uh, it's trash. Not bad. Next. <laughs> I'm joking, man. Most of you guys know I'm joking around, but uh, Walkria Chronicles 4. This one is 5.99. Valkyria Chronicles as an IP, I think it's really well done in a lot of ways. Um, I think the tactical gameplay is really rewarding. It's it can get a little challenging, but. VC4 does it uh, well. The characters, I wouldn't say, are blow away, but they're a well done cast of characters that they all have their quirks, and I found them to be fairly likable. Yeah, and VC4, yeah, you yeah. can jump right into it without playing VC1. I would recommend you to play VC1, but you know, what but, can you do? 599 for the game, I think, is great. Five, so definitely <laughs> give that a shout. 599 for the game. I, 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 let's talk about the next Last game. year, that is Mato Anomalies, 999. Now, this is very. I think if you're an anime lover, if you're a weeb, any weeb watching my video right now? If you're a weeb, I think you're gonna- Oh shit, okay, this one looks better than other weeb games, This actually. game, that, that's really oh, what it is. I'm not a weeb right now, but like, uh, holy crap, like, uh, kinda looks odd, kinda looks odd, it's like an- It's very much a lower budget JRPG, where if you're the kind of person that you wanna play a lot of JRPGs, you wanna play some of the ones that go a little under the radar, Mato Anomalies is one that absolutely went under the radar, $40, <laughs> way too much, $9.99, okay, we're Not talking, too much, and I think yeah. that is a pretty- But still, I can go to China right now, and I can get it for two pennies, though. Shout like, to AI, on. the Somnium Files, that is down to $7.99, another visual novel, and really, if you wanna talk about visual novels with good visuals, AI, the Somnium Files, pretty Pretty damn good one. I think graphically the game looks quite good for a visual novel. Okay, the list started off actually really good though. I mean, the first few games were solid, but I'm not sure about these though. Guys, recently we had some really, really good gameplay reveals as well. Click on this video on the screen. We had a lot of really good gameplays here. Check it out. On the left though, this is on my second channel. I also have a UFO and conspiracy channel as well, guys. We upload daily there too. So check that out and I'll see you right there.